The lady from the 5th District Representative Callan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Children's Day is a reminder to us that we should leave the world better than how we found it, Mr. Speaker. My father was a teacher, a superintendent, and he taught me the importance of this message. That society grows great when you plant trees whose shade we will never sit in. Who will sit in that shade? All of us have people in mind. Our daughters, our sons, nieces, nephews, our grandkids, the neighbor kids, the children we teach. For me, it's my son Riley. He's here with me today. I promised him I wouldn't embarrass him, but I think I might have to just a little. <laughs> Riley's first word was truck. His second word had to be why. His third word, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Riley really loved trucks. Everything, anything about trucks. But it was that second word that he used so much that mattered. Why? I was lucky because I got to be there to give him my answers to those thousands of whys. I got to pass on to him what my parents gave me. The lesson that you need to find the value in every child because every child has value. My grandmother showed me this every day in her work as an elementary school teacher on a reservation in Arizona. When I was younger, I frequently was able to visit her during her summer sessions. And I have this memory, this vivid memory of a moment when I was there with her. She was teaching, and this little girl was just having a really tough day. She was working on a drawing. It just wasn't turning out the way she wanted. She got so frustrated, she wadded the piece of paper up, threw it on the floor, and said, it just doesn't even matter. My grandmother, who was very tall, walked over to her desk, got down on one knee so she could be at eye level, and said, do you know what matters? The little girl was still pretty agitated. No, what? My grandmother just gently said, you do. That little girl's eyes just lit up. That day, my grandmother taught me a very simple but powerful lesson that each and every child matters. Their futures are in the shade of the trees that have yet to sprout. I believe it is our job here in this chamber to make society great by planting the right trees in the right places. Because society will only be great, Mr. Speaker, if we give each and every child the chance to become their greatest self. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.